Hi everybody. So um, I've been hearing a lot in my <clears throat> classes about people having trouble with their feet or cramping in the feet and maybe cramping in the leg muscles, um, especially when you're going to sleep. But um, so I thought we'd I'd try a couple of um, exercises with you that would involve a strap. So you're going to need uh, some sort of strap that doesn't stretch. I, like this is like bathrobe strap, but you could use a dish towel or something like that, and a ball, um, which was, we've used before, like a small dollar store ball. It's a little bit soft. You could use a tennis ball as well. So we're going to use um, these props <clears throat> for some of our stretches. Um, so I'm going to put a little background music on, just because that's always nice, right? Um, yeah, so... We're going to do these seated, all right? So find a nice seat. You could be on the couch if that's uh, uh, works for you too. Yeah. So wherever you are, and we're going to take that ball and put it on the floor, all right? And use it underneath your foot. Yeah. So you can just leave the strap forever for now, and just roll around on the bottom of the foot. You can tell um, whether. You know you're pushing too hard for your feet right now or maybe you start soft and then uh, you get a little a little harder um, in areas that uh, feel like they need more stretch All right. so yeah you could even pause in areas <clears throat> um, that feel like they might really need that, that kind of massaging underneath you're going from the heel of your, uh, the, ba the base of your heel here up towards the ball of your foot. And once you've done uh, one foot nicely, you can try the other foot underneath. Also, this helps to be on carpet uh, because sometimes the ball can really slide around if it's on wood floor. All right, so again, you, you decide how much you're um, pushing down. It's funny, I notice one foot is more sore than the other. Mm. Right. Again, you just drop to it. Uh, you feel it loosening up a little bit. Once you've done that about equal on uh, both uh, legs, you can take it in the palm of your hand. This also massages the hand a little bit and give your your legs a little bit of a um, massage with it. So again, it's easier if this ball is, you know, smallish, right? Again, you can get it at a dollar store. And, um, yeah, and you're massaging your hand as well as your thigh here hip area, kind of like rolling a meatball, right? you get each side, <clears throat> and you're really uh, push, pushing and opening the palm, that's the easiest, um, so that it won't fall out, yeah, again, get it all around, We've done that on both sides. You can just put the ball to the side somewhere you're not gonna trip on it later, right? And we'll go ahead and take this um, this strap that we have here. I'm gonna lift one set of toes to put the strap underneath it. Yeah, you can do it that way, or you could lift your foot and try and get it underneath. That's a little takes a little more coordination. Again, we're going just underneath the ball of the foot, and then we have we can wrap our hands around the strap or walk our hands down the strap, right? <clears throat> Whichever feels best for you, you have a good grasp on it so that you could straighten it out in front of you, try not to lock in that knee, and we're gonna draw the knee back in, right? So in and out, um, and you're, you're letting your arm control this, try not to round in your spine, right? Drop your shoulders back, just pull that knee in and out. And you 
can experiment with whether that's straight or the knee comes a little towards the side, right? Opening your groin a little bit more. Just always keep in mind the knee and toes are aiming in the same direction. All right, once you've done that a bit, hold that strap with your same hand. Again, giving that uh, tightening in the top thigh holding underneath. We're going to drop our shoulder blades down, hold your chair, maybe lower the leg a little and open it out towards the side. Again, you might want to counterbalance that with your body, maybe even stretch your arm out, right, just to open that uh, groin. Make sure these shoulders are down. Bring it back in. <clears throat> You're going to bend that knee. This time we're going to let that knee go out towards the side, walking up your strap, maybe you grab your foot. Or your ankle here so you can get it on your thigh because I know that's tough for some people if that doesn't work at all you can just hug it a little bit more but if you have it on that thigh just take the strap back off let the knee open up and lift again tall in your spine maybe you have a little bit of a forward uh, bend right but again uh, we're not rounding forward but lifting lengthening stretching forward <clears throat> Just pause and breathe with this one, right? Because this can be intense, and again, maybe even right here is intense. Yeah. Again, your foot is strongly flexed. That helps with the whole knee and uh, shin. Good. And when you're ready, had enough of that, we'll drop that uh, foot back off and take the strap again, lengthen it, either lift those toes up and get the strap underneath, or lift the whole leg up and get the strap underneath. And again, roll those straps underneath uh, in your hands or walk up it. And again, just start to stretch and straighten, <coughs> or bend and straighten. And again, as you do this, shoulders down, your spine is long. Yeah, breathing deeply. I should feel good, hopefully. And again, you can experiment with going a little wider, or coming straight in, and then hold it straight out in, uh, in front of you once you've done enough of that. Again, this foot is planted strongly, thighs tight, hold, uh, so we can stretch a bit underneath. Yeah, and then we might open it out to the side. Maybe it needs to go lower, right, or higher, your, your choice here. It's good for you drop the shoulders down maybe you give a stretch out for, to counterbalance the weight of that leg or hold on to your chair right do either and then bring it on back in <clears throat> bend the knee but this time again we're going to go a little bit wider strong flexing that foot see if we can get it towards our thigh or top of our thigh <clears throat> and undo that strap just let it rest wherever Again, if this doesn't work, you can keep doing that uh, pulling in. Keep this foot strongly flexed and your spine tall. Again, this might be enough of a stretch, just sitting up tall. Or maybe you have a little bit of a forward bend. And again, just breathe deeply as you stretch here. Staying with it for um, a few minutes, right? Yeah. Maybe not a few minutes, maybe a minute. Good. And once you once you feel like maybe it's eased out a bit, <clears throat> lift it up. Yeah, take it off, plant it down. Yeah, and release your your strap from around you. Hopefully that that did a little something for your thighs, your legs, um, and your your feet. And a nice thing to do, maybe when you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed at night, especially if you're having trouble with those cramping feet. So anyway, I uh, hope you have a great week and I hope you enjoyed that little stretch. See you soon.